What's going on everybody? Um, I got two new pairs of skate shoes that I picked up and they are the Adidas Gazelle ADVs. I got two different pairs. They're both uh, signature colorways of pro skaters, which I'll get into later. Yeah, two pairs and I'll give you guys a quick review and see what they look like on feet and how they feel. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into the shoes. Uh, both of the shoes come in this uh, black with metallic gold striped Adidas box. Um, I don't believe all the Adidas skateboarding shoes come in this box. I think it's because these are uh, special pro skater colorways. They put them in this cool metallic gold black box. Okay, so both of these pairs are size 10s. Um, US 10, UK 9.5. So one pair is for Nora Vasconcelos, and the other one is for uh, Mark Suchu. Both uh, pretty awesome colorways. Um, let's look at Nora's first. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, they're Gazelle ADVs. I think uh, ADV stands, stands for uh, Advantage or Advanced. Um, one of the two. Probably just means they're, um, you know, they're advanced gazelles for skateboarding. Open the box up. Um, I've already tried these on, so they might look a little worn, but uh, here they are. Super sick. Um, super sick. Something about these ADVs, uh, they're, the shape seems to be a little bit better than your normal gazelles I mean, nothing wrong with your normal gazelles they look awesome but these um, they have vulcanized soles so they feel and look a little bit cleaner in my eyes with just the overall shape uh, yeah this one and also uh, the suchu gazelles they both have super great quality leather and suede very uh, low profile low cut which uh, I love um, Got to have the Gazelle toe cap. The leather quality is insane on these. Like, look at that. And it, it actually feels just as nice as it looks. It's nice and soft. You know, I'm, a, I'm actually kind of afraid to skate these because it's, it's going to get ruined real quick. But I mean, look wise, they look awesome. Uh, even the suede used on the toe cap is nice and soft. The thickness is decent as well. I haven't skated in these or anything. I've just walked around in these for a little bit and they're pretty comfy. Has uh, some kind of a drawing in the back. That's probably something that Nora drew. Some kind of a flame flame child. I'm not I'm not sure what that is. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments. So the heel section has uh, the same suede as the toe cap. In the back, both pairs have that uh, flame, flame child, whatever that is. The outsole is uh, completely different from your regular gazelle outsoles. It's obviously made for skateboarding, has a nice flex to it. These are vulcanized with a nice extra uh, rubber on the toe. I love that they put uh, gum rubber on here. You gotta love gum rubber. Yeah, it's uh, it's honestly just a white shoe with hints of that nice purple, and it's not like super vibrant purple either. It's like it's more of a um, it's kind of like a lavender purple, you know? It's it's a nice hit. And I believe purple is like Nora's favorite color or something because a lot of her collection, even in the past, uses purple. The tongue is pretty standard. It has no logos or anything on it, which is actually pretty awesome it's just she just left it pretty clean no logos no markings the tongue has some decent padding to it it has that old school sponge you know old school sponge the thickness of the leather check out the insoles oh so the insole is like not that great actually it's very thin the insole actually has a similar pattern as the outsole um, yeah, the insole not that special 
but the graphic is pretty sick. So uh, the picture on the left, this one here, that's apparently Nora's mom. That almost, she looks exactly like Nora too. Um, Nora's mom, when she was younger, she lied that she was a boy and played soccer with, on the boys team or something like that. Has a cool story behind it. Yeah, the graphic on it is pretty sick. And it has a message on it from Nora herself. What does it say? Okay, so it says it. On, it says on here. It's, it's not soccer. She, uh, she cut her hair short, like that, and she would often sneak out and go play baseball. And yeah, uh, she must have played with boys, and uh, a lot of people complained about it. But she, uh, her mom, just kept doing her thing, and and look at what kind of daughter she raised. A badass. With the insole taken out, there's not much in it. You know what, it's surprising that uh, an insole this thin with basically no no tech is actually kind of like not bad. It's pretty comfortable to walk in. The laces are pretty standard, no extra laces. I hate when skate shoes come with no extra laces. I, they're skate shoes, they should come with extra laces. But yeah, these are pretty standard, just flat white laces. Nothing special. So yeah, uh, the left pair says Nora. Right pair says Jilda. Um, Jilda is Nora's middle name. All stamped in metallic gold. Pretty sick. Now that we looked at that one, let's move on to the next pair. And here is the Mark Suchu colorway of the Gazelle ADVs. As you can see, they were $130. Both pairs were $130. I think it's a little overpriced. No, not little. It is overpriced for some pair of gazelles. Honestly, I think these should be like a hundred bucks or 110 Canadian. I think that's more fair. $130 for some gazelles. These don't really have any advanced technology put into it. $130. That's like that's very high for some skate shoes. I I do love that they're like signature colorways. That they look clean. The colorways are nice, but like 130. Yeah, I just really like the colorways of both of these pairs, so I bought them. But unless I see another colorway that's like really, really nice, um, I'm not sure if I'll pay the full price for another pair. And here is the Mark Suchu pair. So sick, so sick. Boom. You can't, you can't. These are so nice, so nice. So obviously this one's overall a green pair with um, white. Again, the suede on here, just like the Nora. Nora's, um, the, the quality is super nice. So the Nora pair uses the leather. This one uses suede. Yeah, everything green on here is suede. Like nice quality suede. I mean, both of these pairs are so nice. I don't really want to skate these. They're just, the quality is so nice on them. Uh, the midsole is exactly the same, white midsole. So the stripe isn't exactly white. It's more of like off-white. And it feels like they use Nubuck for these. Feels really nice. And look at the cut, nice and thick. Nice and thick quality Nubuck. They used it up top by the laces and the heel. The heel is new buck as well. Both pairs have a gold trefoil logo on the back. Both pairs say Suchu Gazelle. Suchu Gazelle stamped in metallic gold. Uh, the Nora pair actually, um, it's, it's more stamped in. Like it's like pressed into the leather. Whereas here, it's just like an overlay over on top of the suede. So this could probably scratch off a lot easier than um, the Nora's. Yeah, unlike the Nora's, these have branding on the tongue. Um, as you can see, this one's, this one's got a clean tongue. This one's got gold logo on the tongue. And the, and the tongue is made of new buck as well. A nice thick quality new buck. I love it. Adidas stamp on the tongue. It says Adidas Gazelle in metallic gold. 
And the insole has a cool little graphic. It's like, what is that? It looks like a snake or something that swallowed a skateboard. Let's take out the insole. Again, super thin, nothing special. But the graphic is cool. The other pair, yeah, the other, the other pair has just regular Adidas logo on there. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like the insole is super thin. But yeah, the color blocking on these is really well done, I think. Like they used just enough white and green on the right places to make them look nice and clean and wearable every day. The outsole is exactly the same. ADV outsole, got nice flex to it. In terms of sizing, go true to size. I do feel like they fit a little bit long, like a little bit. So like, I would prefer going true to size or if you don't have that option, go half size down because they fit a little long and narrow. My feet are very regular. They're very uh, standard shaped. So um, true to size for me is good. I usually wear a nine and a half or a 10. And I got these in a 10 and they fit pretty, they fit long, a little bit long. So I wish I, I could have got a, uh, uh, my true size nine and a half or uh, nine would have been okay too like they fit a little long for a size 10. yeah true to size or a half size down like half size down might be a little bit tight on you but they're long and they're suede so they'll stretch out i only got a size 10 because that was the only option i had uh, for both of these and they're a little bit long but you know i'll just tie them up tight and we should be good to go yeah, I think they're good shoes. Um, these can totally be worn for skating and just for like casual use. So that was like what attracted me to these shoes the most where how versatile these shoes can be and the colorways too. They're just so stylish, so sick. But yeah, let's uh, put both of these on feet, see what they look like and we'll be right back.
So overall, I think they're decent shoes. I can't really speak on how they skate because I haven't tried skating in them yet. Uh, but I think for casual use, they're pretty good. Um, they're decent shoes, they look good. And just the overall shape, I mean, it's a gazelle. You can really wear these with anything and they'll look good. Uh, they're not like the most comfortable shoes in the world, but they're, uh, they're decent. Just something casual to wear every day. Um, I do think I do think they are a little bit overpriced. 130 Canadian is a little bit high for some skate shoes. Um, I think if they were like $110, that would be more reasonable. But 130 for some gazelles, it's uh, it's pretty expensive. So my verdict is overall decent shoes, a little overpriced, but uh, decent. Uh, they look good, good everyday drivers, and yeah. So that's it for today. If I pick up any other skate shoes, I'll be back with uh, another review. So I'll see you guys next time.